They're a little bit softer. Look at this steering. Oh, it feels very smooth because uh, when you have, it's like I'm driving on airbags as opposed to, you know. The Simmons are harsh. Yeah, that's exactly right. seen that it's completely flat like even the yeah there's no there's no oh, bar man no how bar. nice is that it's one piece 2700 k's 2700 and you drive it like that all the time all the time <laughs> all the time any chance i get all the time look i don't drive it often once every six weeks once every two months i take it out i belt it and i bring it home now, for all the people wondering why you change those tyres, because they are, I mean, they're high-profile rubber, sure. and that's for a reason. Yeah, look, it's created um, more of an airbag feel, right? Uh, my steering's better as a result. And this is the first time I drive it as well. 
and I can tell from my braking it pulls up better. Um, I've got more control and look, it doesn't rub anywhere and you can see when I was when I was driving it was gripping and it was going and it was fun. They're perfect. You know, it was fun and look, it wasn't, without taking this thing with the other wheels on it, it's like you're on skates and it jumps around a little bit. I don't feel that here, there's no jumping around, we're nice, we're cruising. We're yeah. like, we can go for a long drive in this now, you know. <laughs> Queensland run. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so what's going on with the rears? Because they're pr still pretty big tyres at the back there. Do you well, know what profile and everything they are? No, not really. Around here. No, I actually don't. Uh, simply because I wanted 15s, and obviously because I've already stretched the guards out to fit the 19s on it beforehand, I obviously have to get the bigger rubber to fill in the guards, and yeah. the same thing with the front. So I have to get the bigger five. Is it look, being tubbed at all? Uh, not tubbed. I wouldn't say tubbed. I'm Mini tubbed. But um, there is a bigger wheel arch in there, but I wouldn't classify it as a mini tub. Okay. If I had a mini tub, I'd have no back seat. Yeah. Like, you lose the back seat completely. But you can still sit passengers in the back? In the back seat, yeah. Not that you'd want to. Jeez, not enough room. But... Man, can you believe this place? Like, holy fuck. I mean... I haven't been here for a couple of years now, and you pull up and you, you see this sort of quality. It's just unbelievable. And then to jump in a car with you like this, where else in the world could you do that? No, you can't. No, you can't. So now, with the number plates, I want you in frame. Tell us a bit about the number plates. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a nickname that sort of stuck. It suits from, the from car. A, from, from a while back. And look, um, I'm, I'm the one, basically. Um, but look, being a four letter, four letter plate, I think it suits it. Because the plates has now been smaller and it suits the size of the car. So it's sort of a win-win if you think about it. And I'm, I'm happy with it. I know everyone's probably thinking what the hell is worm. Look, it doesn't matter what it is. It's just, it's a worm. It's not hard. It doesn't have to mean anything. <laughs> I just love, I thought it could have been, I don't know why it suits the car, but the first time I saw well, it, it was just... The, the other part of it is, all right, I don't want people to take the car seriously. I wanted to put smiles on people's faces. Yeah. You know, I don't want people coming up to me and, you know, no, there's nothing, there's nothing violent about this car whatsoever. You know. I, yeah, that's, a, that's okay, I can edit it, it's all good. <laughs> No, the car's I, I, wild, saw, I, I thought there might have been some sort of history with the worm. Um, <laughs> history is just with me. But how I got the name, you mean? I used, I used to work in elevators, and every time I worked in the elevator shaft, and friends tried to call me, right? I said, sorry, I had no reception, I was in the elevator shaft. And they said, you know what? You're a fucking worm, okay? You're in one of your holes all the time. And that's how it stuck. And ever since then, it was just worm. So you've had those plates on a couple of the cars? No, I never put on a car before, ever. Oh. It was never available. And when I bought this car, it wasn't available then either. So someone else already had it. So when I finally built, finished this thing, three and a half years later, it became available. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cool. Okay, so what do you, so now, and this is one of the beauties with when you build a packed car, right? It's a, you don't really say to an owner, what are you gonna modify or what are you going to change? Because it's perfect the way it is. Like I know you've had to change the rubber or the, they're, they're new wheels, they're new rims as well, yeah? I'm pretty sure when we spoke last time, uh, in the last interview, I explained that if I was going to change anything, it'd be the wheels. Right? And now that that's done, would I change anything else? No way in the world. The thing drives like a dream. And it's fun, yeah? Like I rip it. And, you know, and that's me, I haven't, I haven't got used to it yet, so when I get back out there again, I'll have a lot more fun with it again. I reckon it's, yeah. I, and I, I feel that it's safer to do fun stuff. <laughs> That's funny, right? <laughs> You've just, George has just put the wheels on. Like, I, I was concerned when you were pulling out of the street, whether, he, you know, he, he done them up properly. But bro, you were just straight into it. Yeah, yeah, straight away. 100%. I can feel it. <laughs> you can feel it, straight away. If I, I, I felt it. I felt it the second we, um, we're driving out of the driveway, I said, yeah, this is nice. You remember I said that, right? I felt that instantly. And I yeah. drove further out, I go, yeah, this is good. Yeah, this is good. Because I know the feedback I was getting on the brake when I was given it. So I know all those things. And, you know, when you do things to the car, you, you know, you, you, you wait for these things as feedback, right? So now when I drove it this time again, 
the feedback was different and I liked it. Yeah. I go, oh, this is nice. You know what I mean? It's not going to pull so much to the left. Rather, because it had Simmons on it, did it? It had Simmons. It had the 19 yeah. inch Simmons uh, OEMs with a 40 mil profile as opposed to these. You are comparing these cars to get, and obviously you could go out and buy a Ferrari, Lamborghini. Um, why would you choose something like this over a Ferrari or a Lambo or a McLaren? There's no history in those cars. Not like this. I mean, uh, it is very special. I mean, the sound's special. The the car look, the feel. I mean, the vibration. All that is special. You know, yeah. when you turn it on and you're just sitting at the set of lights and it's like da 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 da. All that is special. Okay, I have not received that in any other car. And I've driven a lot of cars in my life, Ferraris included, and Lamborghinis included for that That's matter. That's why I said because right? I knew. And again, all right, I don't, I don't, no joy of being out of this thing. You know? It's just fun. Like I said, I wanted to f*** like a twin can. That's exactly how I'm driving it. You know? I, don't, I won't get that in any other car. Not a chance. All right, bro. Well, thanks for chatting. I hope uh, next coming. video we'll do something. Yeah, I'll organize that now.